Hey guys, welcome back to Bernardo from the BTN HD. And today, guys, I'm going to show you how or what's the process like during July 29th when Microsoft finally pushes out Windows 10 to everyone for free. Now, I have a Windows 8.1 Enterprise, but most likely you guys have a Windows 8.1 Pro Edition. So let's uh, right click here and let's go to System. And I do have a Windows 8.1 machine. Now the core requirements for this Windows 10 update is either Windows 7 Service Pack 1 or Windows 8.1 Pro Edition. And you probably got that nice little indication at the bottom of the taskbar to reserve your copy of Windows 10. Now Microsoft is already pushing out the update or the, the major upgrade to your machine in bits. And then when July 29th comes, it's going to pop up and state something. So I want you guys to be prepared and make sure that you back up your machine back up all your important files your my documents your photos your pictures everything just back it up the week of july 29th i need you guys to back everything up and just just don't don't depend on microsoft giving you a clean update because you never know if something might happen Make sure if you have any special software that you have the CDs or you have the installation files with the serial numbers. Make sure you have all that stuff as a backup. So I'm going to um, mount, let's go and mount uh, the latest and greatest build. And I downloaded uh, Windows, uh, the Insider Preview. The latest build is 101.62. And I want to show you guys how it's going to somewhat look during July 29th. So we are going to click on the DVD. Let's run on that. So you're not going to get this, but you're probably going to get something like this. This nice little dialogue is going to pop up out of nowhere or uh, at the taskbar. You're probably going to get a notification stating, hey, you have, a, a, you have Windows 10 is ready. You click on it. And once you click on it, this is probably going to pop up. You got the nice little windows. You got the windows little dialogue popping up. It, this right here is an indication that it's getting itself ready for the installation, or it's probably checking or preparing itself like it's doing right now. And this is a good thing if this is happening. Okay, so this is not gonna pop up. This is only popping up because this is a uh, brand new machine. Uh, a lot of updates haven't been pushed out. But you're probably not going to get this because I'm assuming that Microsoft already pushed out all the requirement uh, or all the required updates to your machine to push out Windows 10. So I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want that. Let's click on next. And it's checking the PC. It's getting every, a couple of things uh, ready. And uh, one of the things is that this Windows 10 is going to do an upgrade. It's not doing a full wipe or a... Yeah, it's not doing a full wipe and installation. It's just doing an upgrade. Now, you're not going to get this. The only reason that I'm getting the product key is because I am using a build. Again, Windows 10 is free, so you don't have to worry about a product key at all. So we're going to click on next here. And again, this is an upgrade. So you're probably going to get a nice license in terms during the installation process. July 29th, you're probably going to get a dialog box like this. Just accept it. Or if you want, just read it. Uh, because this is, this is very important because this right here tells you what's going on and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to accept it. And this is pretty cool. Uh, because as you saw in Windows 7, this option right here was enabled. And Windows 8, it's disabled. So that's a little strange. I don't know if that's going to really happen during uh, July 29th. So Windows 8 people, keep in mind that you're probably not going to get keep personal files, apps, and Windows settings you're just only going to keep personal files only. So that's a little strange. So I don't know if that's going to really happen on July 29th. So I'm just going to keep this as a default. So it says you can't keep Windows settings, personal files, and apps because you're installing an addition. Oh, okay. This makes sense. This makes sense. Because I have a enterprise addition, uh, it's not going to, I'm not able to do this. But most likely your Windows 10 uh, upgrade is going to be compatible to the current machine that you have on your uh, computer so that you don't have to worry about that so i'm going to just just hit next uh do you want to continue using the selection yep 
most likely you guys are going to have the default r version that's going to keep all your settings and all the apps and all that the background and stuff but because i'm using a dis uh, but because i'm using a different SKU which is you know professional and to enterprise or enterprise to professional it's it's just not going to work uh, another thing that you guys need to keep in mind is that because you're doing an upgrade remember you're not doing a complete wipe and clean uh, when you go to C drive, your C drive is going to have a new folder. Now this Windows folder, which is currently our Windows 8.1 machine or our operating system, is going to be converted to Windows.O uh, and you're going to see another Windows folder. So I'm going to show you guys once the upgrade is done what I mean. So let's close that up. Right now it's ready. If you click change what's, what to keep, that just gives you the three options that we saw earlier. And we're going to hit install. So most likely during the July 29th, you're going to get a prompt. This is what I'm assuming you're going to get a prompt at the taskbar indicating that your Windows 10 upgrade is ready. You're going to click on it. It's going to try to scan or prepare itself. You probably need to accept any license and terms. Once you do that, you're probably going to get that nice little dialog box indicating those three options that is going to save all your settings your background images and all that stuff. And then you're going to accept. Your machine probably is going to reboot. If it's not going to reboot, it's just going to go to full screen like the way it is. And it's going to tell you that it's going to restart several times and it's going to take a while and it's installing Windows 10. And all you have to do is just sit back, relax, and hopefully everything goes well. Make sure, please make sure you guys back up before you do this stuff. And uh, I catch you guys when it is almost finished installing Windows 10. All right, guys, as you can see, it looks like it's upgrading Windows. Your PC will restart several times. Sit back and relax, which I told you guys. Right now it is in zero, but again, it's going to take its sweet time, and it's copying files 1%. Again, uh, you saw the blue screen. It looks like it was preparing itself or copying whatever files it needed on the machine for it to work properly. So that's probably something that you guys are going to see once that's happening or once that's done. It's going to restart your machine and you're going to get this and once you get this just sit back and relax because now windows is taking over your machine and it's upgrading it and once it's completed it's going to boot into windows 10. hey guys and we are back our windows 8.1 uh, upgrade to windows 10 has completed uh if everything goes successful you're going to get this nice little dialog box prompting you or saying hey there welcome back uh so we're going to click on next and you got get going fast. I'm going to use the express settings for now. They give you a breakdown of the new Windows apps. So we're going to click on next on that. It's finalizing the settings. Once it do that, uh, we're almost done with the upgrade. And we are finally logged into our new upgrade, our Windows 10 operating system. This is pretty awesome. As you guys saw, hopefully you guys caught that I created or had a BTN HD folder with a bunch of files. It looks like with the upgrade, it uh, it carried over. I didn't lose that, so that's pretty awesome. Now, uh, before I end this video, I want to show you guys one quick thing. So let's go inside our Fire Explorer. So to click on Start, Fire Explorer, which is the same thing as Windows Explorer. And I want to get into this PC and I want to get into the C drive. And as you can see, guys, like I mentioned before, Windows dot old is the old Windows folder from your old operating system. So that's pretty awesome. And this is the new one. And, and that's it, guys. That is how you upgrade your current operating system to Windows 10. Hopefully everything goes well for you guys. Three things before I let you guys go. One, make sure you back up all your files before July 29th. Check your backup. Make sure it's nice and clean and you're able to retrieve the files that you backed up. Have copies of all your software that you installed on your machine with the serial keys. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Please leave comments below. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.